Hey everyone, Cool is Dad here. Today my wife and son and I took a walk uh, up to visit a friend of mine who lives out in the countryside and uh, it turns out I actually got hit by a bicycle. Uh, I just wanted to share a story that happened to me today. Uh, my wife and I took our son uh, to visit a friend of mine who lives in the countryside here in the New Territories, uh, closer to the China border. So we took the train up and then it's about a 20 minute walk over to his house. No problem, we got there, we used our uh, Stoke Scoot stroller and it performed like a charm. The only problem was uh, dealing with all the elevators, escalators and stairs that we had to deal with with such a heavy stroller. But anyway, uh, so hung out with my friend. On the way back, we decided to walk also. And uh, there's a part where there's a bike path and a sidewalk and the sidewalk is really narrow and there's trees. So we were walking on the bike path, but it was okay because there was no bikes around. Or so I thought. I actually ended up getting hit by a bicycle. There was like a 13-year-old kid riding a, a racing bike with a helmet. So he, like, he obviously knew how to ride a bike, but somehow he wasn't paying attention even though there were no other bikes or cars or uh, people walking around and he just sort of ran into me. Um, luckily, he ran into me from the back uh, and so he hit me and not the stroller. Uh, and I guess he must have swerved and sort of hit the brakes because he didn't hit me that hard. Um, if I was going full out and ran into someone, it would be much more serious. Um, anyway, he ended up falling down, skinning his elbow. Uh, he had a helmet on, so you know he, he wasn't really seriously injured or anything. Um, and my leg was kind of uh, hurting, and I kind of skinned the heel a little bit, but uh, I hope no permanent damage. Um, maybe tomorrow it'll be sore. Uh, but anyway, uh, the funny thing, there was a bunch of people who were kind of behind him who saw this all and were like, just yelling at him for five minutes straight, like they're giving him band-aids and stuff, but they're like, oh, you gotta sit over here, don't move and make sure you're okay. And uh, you know, you shouldn't do that. You should watch where you're going and stuff. And the whole time they're like sort of basically yelling at him. They didn't say a single word to me, like, are you okay? Or did he cut you or anything like that? So it was kind of strange. Um, so anyway, uh, my kid was kind of freaked out. Uh, he was crying from the jerk, but uh, luckily the Stoke Scoot is uh, pretty sturdy. Um, and in this case, I'm actually glad that it's wide and heavy and it's got kind of this big uh, handlebar and whatnot because it meant that the, the only thing that really happened was, was my kid got kind of jerked around. But, uh, you know, it's not like he got knocked over. It's not like he got hit directly by the bicycle or anything. So um, just previously at my friend's house, he was showing me his combi, which is super light and super easy to fold and whatnot. But uh, I think in this case, it wouldn't have held up as well and it might have gotten knocked over. Uh, also, I take back all that jokes I made about the five-point harness. Um, it's actually, in this case, I found out exactly why you want to have that. So if it had just been a lap belt or it had just been kind of uh, some shoulder strap like a seat belt, it might not have held him as well. Uh, and in this case, I'm glad he didn't get like whiplash and he was held in pretty well. So uh, kudos to Stoke for making such a solid, uh, stable, stroller uh, with a good seat belt because you never expect this kind of stuff to happen but sometimes it does so anyway food for thought hopefully i don't get hit by any more bikes anytime soon if you have any questions please leave a comment don't forget to subscribe there's a guy with a tandem bicycle not riding it if you have any questions please leave a comment don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up and check out some of our other videos Definitely check out my Stoke Scoot unboxing and also my follow up review. US, this thing sells for about $250. In Hong Kong, it costs almost $300. And then each one of these accessories is another $50 plus. So 